to get in here. We do have a few viewers in here as well. Um, Nova, yes. Uh, basically, the game will be done when I'm done casting because we don't have enough for another group. Um, and it looks like we're going to be starting our first match. So we have the, our teams up there. Red team versus blue team. Keep track at home because I don't have a piece of a pen near me. Um, but we are doing a best of five, I do believe. I could be wrong. So this is going to be game one. We're at least going to have three games to cast. So that's going to be cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. As you see, there's Team Red right there. Jabberwock, Slugger, Flora, Kellogg, and Tor. And for the blue team, we're going to have uh, Skiffy, Joke, Phoenix, Magni, and Phantom. Uh, the last game I played was an absolute blowout, so we'll see how that goes. However, as more people flood through here, we'll be able to talk to everybody and see how everything goes. But we're about to start match number one here in the Imans 10s lobby. Let's get everything up here as we go off on the break. First hill is going to be on this top side on the balcony. And really, the first hill is always a bloodbath, but you're going to see these two players in mid. They're going to be holding these mid areas and keeping a good opening for the middle. As you see, the blue team is going to start flooding through and an entire team wipe starting off for the blue team. Uh, and main thing you're going to look here, teams are going to be flooding through. They're going to be trying to push this out. Uh, but we'll see how this goes as Kellogg gets a kill. He's going to get taken out by Magni. Phantom is also going to get a kill on the inside. Kellogg is still alive. Uh, he is currently 5-0 and, oh and still rolling. Kellogg is on a 6-kill streak. Uh, he is really helping his team, but that's going to finally take him out. And that is a big kill. He does not get any streaks off of that. Or he did get one. Um, what is the streak that he got? He got an RC. Now, RCs are GA'd, but I don't know if they're playing that way with this. So we'll see if he uses it or not. Um, however, the rest of the team is going to rotate. The red team is going to push over to that statue side. As you're going to see the blue team pick up the rest of this time. 31 to 2. They're going to have a lead after the first hill. You're going to see the blue team are actually going to swap over here to Jabberwock. We're going to see him zip through and see if they can make this break. He's going to get stunned off of this, but here comes the blue team with a push. A couple kills come off by Magni. Flora picks him up. Kellogg gets a kill off the side as well, and here comes Jabberwock to finish this push. They're going to see if they can clear out this red team. There's someone back long, but they're not going to get him. Jabberwock picks up one. Magni gets picked up by Flora, and the blue team continues to flood through this hill. Blue team has control. We're just going to stick on board with him because right now he's on a streak, but no. Kellogg is 8-1. and one. He's still got a streak. Flora actually has a 4, so let's go ahead and swap over to him. See if he can pick up any score streaks. He's only 155 off. And the blue team is going to continue to rack up this time. They still got that 30-point lead that they had from the beginning, so they make up all of that time that the red team had from the rotation. But here is the key to this map. You're going to see Phantom back here in the back. And we're going to see if they can pick him up. The red team's going to get the rotation. They're going to get a, a little bit of time off of this, but as you can see, they're just going to flood straight on through. Here comes the last two lines of defense, but he's going to jump outside of the map. Oh, he's going to jump outside, and they're not going to be able to get it. Here comes... Oh, we're going to see if he can figure where out. Yes, no! <laughs> and Phantom is still holding this back part of the map. He is trying to keep the spawns, but it's not working. The rest of the red team is spawning down at the first hard point. You see Flora is on the point. He now gets the lightning strike. That's going to come in to effect later. As he's also running that swordfish, but he can't pick up the kill. Slugger's back here. He's going to try to pick up Phantom as the red team is now starting to get the favorable spawns. Phantom's finally going to push up. He's going to pick him off. And now the red team is actually going to start getting the rest of this time. They're going to have 15 more seconds. So that's going to put them around that 50 point mark if they take Arno. That'll put them just under 50. Looks like it'll be about 47. So they're going to still have that around 30 point difference. As you over here to mid. Tor Defiant gets a kill. Let's look at some of the score streaks. Looks like Sy uh, Skiffy is on a four kill streak. And the red team is going to continue to pick up this time. And if he can continue to slay out, the rest of this team uh, makes work of the blue team as he gets another kill. Can he pick up this last one? This is a big kill on the point, and he's not going to be able to get it. That is a humongous kill because the blue team is not going to take point. Kellogg is going to be in this hill, and no one is around. So that's going to be free time for the blue team, and they're going to continue to build this lead. Another RC comes in. It looks like he might have used that other one because he no longer has the other one unless he just doubled up on it. But the blue team is still pushing up. 
We're gonna get on board with Magni. We're gonna see if he comes in. He's got the trophy as the rest of the blue team continues to slay out. They're about to hit the 100 point mark, but kills are gonna come in. Can he pick up this last one? He doesn't see where he's at. They're playing ring around the rosy, around the barrels, and Tor Defiant is still staying alive. He's still alive. He's going here in the long, but he tries to turn and burn. He can't do it, and that's gonna be a little bit of contention that probably shouldn't have happened. And that's actually going to hurt the red team more than it's going to hurt the blue team because the blue team is going to have a 50 point lead coming off of that as they move back down to this bottom hill. Skippy's here on the point, but that's not going to matter. He gets picked off. Phoenix gets picked off by Tor. Tor is built, trying to build a streak here. We'll see what he can do as he sits inside this hard point. This thing's kind of calmed down here for a minute. Here comes the push from the red team. Can they break this? We need to break this now. There's going to be one from Phantom, but Phantom's going to choose the wrong direction to look. Here comes the rest of the push from the red team, but there's no one to help Magni. Magni is all alone. The blue team is still going to continue to rack up these points. The lead is still going to continue to build, and the blue team is in full control. Skippy, though, trying to get this little extra time, but he's not going to be able to do it. Blue team will rack up the rest of those points. No. Phantom is here on the point still. This is some scrap time, but it's going to be contested. And the blue team is still going to pick up that extra time. The rotations going to come in on this statue, but the blue team's already rotated. Okay, here comes that lightning strike. We saw him run this earlier. We'll see if it picks up anything. He's going to get a team kill. He team kills two. He picks up Phantom on the outside, but that's not going to matter because here comes the red team. Can they make them pay for that mistake? The red team's going to push back from the back because they have the spawns, but can they pick up Kellogg? He's going to get beat down. The red team is going to have position, but it's going to matter if they can slay out. We're going to see the blue team completely wipe the red team, though, in the hill. And they're going to immediately get position. 137 to 72. There's still 30-some seconds left in this hill. Right now, looking over the scoreboard. Pretty even on both sides. you got players that are struggling. Some players that are excelling. Trades going back and forth. No one is in the hill at this point. This is free time. But the red team wishes they were getting, and they're going to be getting this right now. But that is because the blue team has already pre-rotated. They're going to continue to wrap up here. They're going to give up that time. They know that they're fine. They're going to go ahead and push this. And they're going to take the rest of this time. So they're going to have just over a 40-point lead. And this is going to be key. A player gets picked up mid. Two players get picked up mid. That's Tor. He's in the middle of the map. And we're going to see if they can pick him up. This could be terrible, but they do. Someone finally gets the call out. They pick him up. Blue team is still here. Skiffy now has the war machine. He's going to be... He's pre-firing everywhere, but all everywhere in the wrong directions. He's finally going to fire one up towards the top, but he's going to get taken out. The war machine almost comes for nothing, but the red team manages to slay on through. But they get picked up by the rest of the blue team, and it's only going to be Phoenix alive. The blue team is just setting up for more kills. But they're, they're perfectly stacking. The red team continues to get kills. They're trying to mount this comeback, and this is the hill that they do it. Joke picks up the kill. Looks like the blue team's going to start to set up. You do have Flora back here. He's got this swordfish. The rest of this time is going to the red team, but they are going to pick up a good kill. That was Sluggers on the side. He, he has this. Okay, Sluggers has the Tempest. He almost picks up two. That Tempest is going to come into play at, uh, at some point. Phantom also has his, so we'll see when both of these are used. Red team is going to pick up one. A team kill by Skiffy on Joke, though. That's not going to help. The blue team continues to slay out. Phantom's going to be here pretty much on his own, but if he can pick up these two, that's huge. No. Sluggers goes big. Joke is here on the point. He's got the Annihilator. Can he pick up? There's one. He misses the second shot. That's, that's not going to help you. The red team continues to come in here. The trades... Kills are getting traded out. And the blue team has popped their 200. So Crash has been used. That's going to give them extra health. And that's going to help the blue team continue to slay out. But most of the Crash has been spent. Here comes Jabberwock. He's in here on the point. He's going to get taken out by Phoenix. The red team is continuing to push this out. Slugger's here on the point. He's going to get that scrap time. And that is crucial scrap time. Because the red team held that point for most of that hill. And he's still got his Tempest. And I believe Phantom still got his too. We'll take a look at Phantom when he comes back up. Oh, Phantom's using the dart, but that's not going to do anything. The blue team manages to survive that push. They're going to have the rotation in, and right now, here comes the split push. So the split push from the red team, they might be able to get a pinch in. We'll see if they look the right directions, though, but no one sees number five. Who is number five? That's Kellogg on this outside, but he doesn't see the person behind him. Can he get this kill? That was crucial. That's going to maintain order here at this hard point. 35 seconds left on the hill. They're building a lead still. That's going to be... 
a little over a 40 point lead as they come out through and this one's going back and forth but right now the blue team is just playing a little bit smarter but the red team manages to slay on through two kills by phantom is going to get these guys some scrap time that's going to be jab on the outside can he get one more kill yes he can tor actually picks up two on the outside so he's going to get those kills but right now uh if we look at the blue team though you've got kellogg with the with the one streak slugger let's get let's get over to slugger what does he have slugger's got a lightning strike and a hellstorm so keep in mind for that later as uh right now they've got a 40 point lead the blue team is still maintaining this order and they've got both those streaks so if the red team takes control of any of these last few hills that's going to come into play however the red team does come in they start to slay out they're going to get this extra time and if they don't break on this one look for the streaks to come in good kill by skiffy phoenix on the other side also picks up kills the blue teams looks like they're going to push through mid the other team's spawning out they're continuing to get this and right now it's down to a 20 point lead now it's at a 10 point lead here comes flora he's going to get a kill but he gets traded out the red team still continuing to slay out magni is also down there right now skippy though leading leading his team he gets one kill he ain't able to pick him up but he does get the trade but sluggers comes in and gets two just at the end he's 29 and 19 he is absolutely going bananas right now the split spawn is going to come in for the red team because two of them did get killed but we're going to take a look over at the statue spawn actually and see if they're going to be able to, to do this because that's going to be two big kills no the blue team is going to continue to hold this spawn and that is huge there comes that and here comes the hellstorm so there's one of the streaks from slugger that takes out three on that other side that is absolutely huge and he's still got the lightning strike to boot this could be it war machine though though is going to come in from skiffy he picks up four and he's going to continue to fly through the back that's a penta kill with the lightning strike and hellstorm in hand and ladies and gentlemen they are right back in this he's got he had the drone squad i think he called it in the hellstorm is here too the lightning strike's going to come in from sluggers that's going to pick off at least two from the red team and this is going to be a battle for the statue hill 20 seconds remain on this for contested time the red team continues to get 18 seconds left and they're still building the blue team though does clear them out but there's still one player here that's joke he's going to continue to get the scrap time and he knows that it's crucial they're going to give that up though and i don't know if you're going to be able to afford that but the blue team has already rotated the red team is late but the red team is going to come in from the flank but here comes here comes a tempest from phantom and he's going to miss his phantom shot the blue team clears them out and right now there's five seconds left in the hill they have to flood they cannot give this time up at all one kill is going to come in but the blue team is stacked and that's going to do it for game one that got scary real quick the penta kill Oh, this has got to be it. Yeah, here we go. So this is the play of the game he's going to get. I believe he gets the quad there. He rolls up to the front, and this is the pentakill in the back that set up the really, really close uh, comeback. They just didn't rotate on that last hill, but hey, humongous, humongous game. An awesome game one, and that is the kind of game you like to see, especially in these tens. That's a good start. That was a close one. Blue team had that for the longest time. It almost slipped away, but that streak towards the beginning, uh, the lightning strike that came in sometime around that, la that last hill or the second to last hill up on statue, it stalled the red team just enough to, to let the blue team get enough points that they could hold that, that beer and, and let them rotate. So that was a heads up play. Um, looks like we are now going to frequency. Are they playing search? Yes, they are playing search. It looks like we are going to going into a series. So this will actually be the first search and destroy game we have on uh, on casting for this stream. So that will be awesome. That was an absolute mad mad game. I need a drink. So as uh, the games kind of get set up here. Looks like we're waiting on a few people here. That was a, that was a very intense game. Uh, but the, the blue team did 
they did uh, come back and they, they put the game away. They had it in their hands uh, for most of the game. They let it uh, almost let it slip, but they managed to to survive. So that's that was that was good clutching up. Uh, once again, that lightning strike though was probably the key there. Um, yeah, that that was pretty intense. So it looks like right now, yep, everyone's ready. They set up their classes. So once again, the teams, if you're not familiar. There's the red team there. Phantom, Magni, Phoenix, Joke, and Skiffy. Uh, that is the blue team. Red team is Tor, Kellogg, Flora, Slugger, and Jabberwock. At least this time I'm not casting three hard points, so I get a break. Kind of. Alright. Frequency... Search and destroy. We're going to go ahead and go off the break here with Skiffy. We're going to see how this goes. Actually, don't the pros usually just go all uh, planting team? So we're actually going to go off here. Who's got the bomb? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't. That's nice. Um, so let's see. Oh, it looks like there's gunfights over there in the middle. Phantom's going to get one. Magni picks up another. Joke picks up a third, and this one could be a team wipe already. <laughs> Jabberwock is going to be the last player alive. He's going immediately going to be taken down, and it's an immediate team wipe. Jabberwock does take out Magni in the process. I couldn't even get switched over. Here's the play of the game for this round. Uh, Phantom playing a cheeky spot by the bomb. Kellogg didn't even see it coming. That's going to be 1-0 for the red team. So let's see now who's going to pick up bomb here. Looks like Magni is running the bomb. And here comes a push. They're going to do a five-man push here. Let's see how this is handled. Skiffy gets a kill. Jabbok's going to be with a sniper watching this point, but no one's pushing. And it looks like they get the trade out at least. So it's going to be a 4v4. Phoenix goes down. The sniper shot comes out. Phantom picks up two in the process. There's the flank from the back. Joke's going to pick up that kill there. And right now, it is a 1v3. Tries to pick up the shot, but can't. Skiffy gets him down, and there is a good bounce back for an offensive round. The play of the round here, the bomb is going to get planted. That was Skiffy there. Immediately gets this kill, and that, that's a clutch one. If you die there, you give a 1v2 possibility. Uh, finishes the kill there, makes everything solid. And we're going to go ahead and start on this second one. Joke actually is 4-0. Phantom is 3-0. Skiffy is 2-0. So right now, the red team currently 2-0. The blue team needs to get going here. And here they come. Okay, so 5 has the bomb. They're going to get a couple kills. Jabberwock picked on Magni. Joke gets picked up by Kellogg. Tor falls, though. Skiffy's going to pick up Jabba. Kellogg gets a kill on Skiffy. Phantom is there, and it's just going to be up to Phoenix now. He's got the sniper. 1v3. Takes the sniper shot. Can't do it. He's going to try to peek again, and he almost gets the shot off, but can't. And that is another round of the red team. Or no, that was round of the blue team, actually. My bad. I keep thinking the, the team that gets the round kill cam is the team that won. That's not the case because this game. All right, so two to one. Red team is going to be on offense now, and that is a good uh, – that, that right there is a good offensive round for uh, the blue team to get back in this. 
once you get to 3-0 and uh, specialist starts to get into the picture, it's kind of hard to make that comeback. But you do see, who is that up on there? Yeah, that's going to be Kellogg, and he's going to have a bunch of people here, but it looks like the red team's going to push towards mid. They did this mid-wrap the last time, and Slugger's going to go ahead and peek, and he's going to take out Joke. That is a kill that you need. Skiffy, though, just pulls out of nowhere and gets a kill on the bomb. He almost gets another one, but he's not there. And right now... That's a very long-range gunfight with, with that SOG, and right now... Kills are going down left and right. Job walk picks off Phoenix. Phantom gets a kill there, though, and right now, Phantom... Left alone in a 1v3, but he picks up one. He's not going to peek his right, and that's going to be a kill. Uh, let's see. Who is that? Uh, Laz, got to go. Good casting, got to go. Not going to be able to play tonight for sure tomorrow. All right, sounds good, Laz. Uh, definitely, definitely. As long as everybody's playing, I'll be playing. So 2v2, the blue team brings it back. And this is this is what you, you kind of get scared of. The red team lost that hard point in a close one. Blue team, they had them on the ropes. And this is a big gunfight mid. Sluggers gets taken out by Skippy. Joke takes out Kellogg. So that's going to immediately put this to give red team the advantage. They're just pushing that window. And this is going to probably leave Floor alone. But no, they're going to go ahead and flank around. Here comes the flank on the outside. You got two pushed up on that on that ledge. And then look at number one. Flora is all the way back here in the back as Jabba goes down. And his teammate right now, Tor, gets surrounded. He takes one with him. But right now, all with a pistol, he takes out one. It's going to be a 1v3, but he's got to get around the corner, and he does. But he doesn't get all the way around the corner. Phantom is going to pick him off. And that's going to make it 3-2. to two. Red team definitely showing their advantage in Search and Destroy. They seem to be playing a little bit more together. As we take a look at uh, some of the uh, scores there, you do have Tor who's 1-5, and five, Phoenix 1-4. and four. Now, I'm wondering if they're the snipers. Tor's running a Maddox. Phoenix running a Maddox now. So I think they might have been running snipers at one point. Jabba's actually got a sniper rifle now. And th they know that they were running that mid push. And he's watching this hard. But right now they're just kind of spread through mid. Can't get the pick there. But oh, Tor's going to fall to joke. Can they pick up that kill in mid though? Who is this on the flank? I just had him. That's Slugger. Slugger's here on the flank. Jabba's going to pick up Joke in mid as well. Are they ready for this? No one's watching that back flank. Number six. This is going to be big if he can turn around. But no one's watching this. And there's going to be two kills. Slugger on the flank. Can he pick up the third? No. Yes, he does. He misses the melee but gets the shot. And that's three down. A beautiful play by Slugger. And that immediately puts this in a one. What is that? A 1v4. It does. Can he survive this though? He falls off the map. But he can't get the melee. Slugger picks up the final kill. And that went from a standoff. And Slugger made that play. Here we're going to see it again too. On the round. Uh, the round play of the game. Or the play of the round. Two kills there. Gets a couple shots. Misses the melee. But manages to get the last couple bullets in. And I guess he manages to stay alive to continue on too. 3-3 three to three now on the back of Slugger. He is now 8-4. and four. Uh, Looking across the board, he does have his Tempest and his RC. So that may come into play on a couple of these rounds. No streaks out for anybody, though. And you do see Jabba has got this sniper again. He is 5-4. and four. And these guys are very spread out. On a round like this, picks for everything. And you do see number two back there. That's going to be Slugger. He's got a couple people on him, but he's going to pick up one. He knows the other one's there. He challenges him, but it's not going to work. But Kellogg does get that trade. So that is a very good trade that is playing together. It's now a three on four. Oh, but he's right there. Joe gets in to try to clean him up, but it doesn't work. And he's going to get sniped. Oh, he didn't catch it, but he did get the kill. That was humongous. Kellogg picks up a kill, and right now it's Phantom. Top of the team, six and three. He's the last one alive. 
and he's not going to catch floor off of that bomb head glitch and that right there is going to give another round to the blue team and you gotta think that things are starting to turn the red team had the momentum there for the first couple rounds the blue team made a couple plays then the red team got one around round, one round lead they looked like they were going to maybe get the stalemate out of this and get to take a round slugger gets a huge flank right now though out of the players that we're looking for phoenix is two and six he he got a kill there magni's three and six he's, he's doing pretty well tor is one and six you're looking for some play out of him what has he been watching okay he's watching this mid so you can't take too much from that he is kind of the the bait but that is a grenade that is a frag grenade from phoenix onto jabba so that is going to be a one pick here phantom can't get the pick there on him but there's the bomb is planted this is going to be a fight for the bomb here but he wisely backs up slugger is down there he's got the, the tempest if he chooses to use it we're about to have a fight here in mid kellogg can't get him skiffy gets the kill there he's going to be down there in mid with joke here comes a flank from the back though and once again flora is going to go on the flank just like slugger did he gets a kill and right now slugger's on the bomb and no one's watching it if he would would have decided to, to defuse it but oh and flora's going to get put, pushed in the back slugger gets taken out he tried to heal couldn't get it red team pushes back four to four I don't know why I'm drinking water from an old Taco Bell thing. Not old, but Taco Bell when I got my orange drink. You hate to see it. Good kill there by Phantom, though. Uh, let's see here. As we continue on, uh, we've still got Tor 1 and 7. Um, a few of the like pretty much everyone's pretty much split out with you got the one and seven But sluggers nine and six and they're keeping him in this game and he's definitely been watching some of those more uh, Stressful angles but right now Flora's got this side with the swordfish But these guys got this three stack and he can get a kill there But the trades come out Jabba also gets a snipe Flora picks him up and that immediately goes into the blue team's favor and there's slugger He's up on top. He gets one he goes to the get the other one, but he gets stunned and that's just gonna leave phantom alone 1v3, this is winnable, but he's going to be challenging someone on that head glitch. That's not what you want to do. He's going to try to press around, but he knows the guy's going to be in there in the corner. Kellogg is playing it perfectly, and that is how you defend a site. 5-4, blue team. One round away from taking this. All right, here we go. Five to four. Blue team is going to pop their crash. So that's going to give them an extra 200 points. So this one could be big. You also got the Tempest from Slugger over there as well. No specialists yet. Up, oh, Tempest from Phantom. He's going to pop his as well. So far, no picks there. The Tempest does go off, but the picks are going to come in and it's not going to matter. And Slugger's going to go ahead and pop his Tempest now. He's here in mid. But you do have one player on the flank. If he can get these kills, it's going to be humongous. He gets a kill there. He doesn't see the guy in the window, though. But the Magni's going to pick up the other guy. Jabba's going to pick off someone there. Magni picks up a third. And right now, it's going to be a 1v1 to send this into round 11. Slugger versus Magni. Slugger's got that extra 200 health. And he's got the Tempest. But it's going to run out. But he's... Oh, did he see him? No, he didn't. Oh, they're about to go back on each other. No, he's going to see him. But he misses it. And he loses his Tempest. He's got the head glitch. Can he pick him off of it? No, but these guys are right here. He's got to plant the bomb, though, so Magni's got to push him. He's got the next 200, and you're not going to pick him off that, and Slugger seals game two with that kill. Clutch play out of him. He made a couple humongous plays, but that right there, those are the 1v1s that you live for. The Tempest might have been huge there. They did pick off a few people, but... They didn't get the kills there that they needed, and the, the 1v1 just ended up being a 1v1. You know, you, you play it to the best of your ability. You try to put uh, get kills when you need to get kills and, and play the positions you need to. But great play out of Slugger on there. He had two. That play there plus the flank was amazing. Uh, 
you know what? We're here. We'll everyone's gonna be get, hopping back into this. So Slugger's actually muted completely, so we can't really gauge his thoughts. The games on both sides have been very close, though. I'm right here, Jax. I have the face cam turned off for um, a minute here. I'm about to... Hey, Boo Thang. What's up? Are they mid map right now? Uh, no, they just finished game two. Alright. Tied up? Uh, no. Uh, 2 0 blue team. No, it it was it went to around ten. It was basically a one v one to send it to round eleven, but Slugger is a god. Yep. Alrighty, that there was I man for those who was wondering. Uh, yes, Slugger, I did like that play. That was played beautifully. Actually, now that he's not muted anymore, let's go ahead and hop in and, and see if, if we can get a word from him. I'm not going to say what if I'm going to vote. Um, Who's saying that, Abyss? Hey, Slugger, can we get a word for the stream on uh, your thoughts during that awesome flank? Bro, I literally did it the first time, but I went through by when I came. I knew they were – they called um, – they called, they called three out and you. And then I guess one pushed back before I got there, and I just – I knew the other two were coming. That's crazy. There you go. And the and the mind of the god clutched up the round ten to send it into game three. Dude, we got like fucking ten people in our team chat. Facts. I'm heading back to cast uh, game number three. Blue team up 2-0. All right, here we go. Game number three, can the red team clutch up and send this into a game number four, or will the blue team finish them off and make this a swift 3-0? It's time to find out on our first casting game of control, and it looks like these guys are pretty far split. Kellogg's going to pick up Magni. Kellogg's going to pick up one. Flora's going to pick up one as well. Phantom comes in. Kellogg picks him up. One thing you're going to notice, underneath the scoreboard, you're going to see a kill counter. For those who do not know or may not play control that often, uh, in this game, you have the two points. You want to capture them both. Those are three stages. However, there is a death limit. So that's going to come into effect, into effect with some of these uh, rounds as well. As you see right now, the blue team is slaying out right now. So they have a three kill lead. They're technically a three death lead. Uh, but right now, we have Torrin. He's just pushed up here slaying out. Slugger is also on that other side. But right now, no one is contesting that A push, and you'll see this a lot just to maintain deaths. You're going to see some teams just give it up, and that's what you're going to see here. But the main thing you're going to look, number five, that's going to be Kellogg, and he's going to have a little bit of a delayed push here because he's going to try to work his way through. But the rest of the team just slays out on B, and absolutely no contestion. They're going to have to flood back through here. The RC comes out. He gets the stun. Flora is still here. He picks up one. Can't get through the door. He's going to get picked off, but Tor gets the trade there. Catalog also gets a kill. Joke falls. Jabberwock picks him up. Jabberwock gets a second. And right now, the deaths are just piling in. A drone squad for Catalog. He's 6-0. The stun comes out. These guys are going in. He gets another kill before he gets picked up, and this is all blue in the kill feed. 19 to 7 in deaths. Catalog is fully streaked out. Slugger gets a triple. He's 5-3 and three now. Phantom gets the kill, but it doesn't matter. That's going to be round number one for the blue team, and they come out with gusto.
Here's that three piece that we missed from Slugger. He comes in, slides in, gets one, gets two, and then gets a third. That's how to heat yourself up real quick if you're going slow. And right now those those streaks are going to be absolutely crucial. You might not you might not see him use them here. We will just have to watch the drone squad. Yep, the drone squad is going to get called in. That's going to be called in on the inside, too. Kills are going to come in for Kellogg. He's going to get picked up, but the entire red team is going to start to slay out. Phoenix picks up the last few, and you're going to have... Oh, but that's Jabberwock in the vents. He tries to snipe, but doesn't get the kill. And the red team is going to have this. We'll see if they back off. If they continue, the red team does have the death lead right now, but uh, two players from the red team are going to get picked off. Tor's going to get taken down. Phantom gets a kill on Kellogg's, and Magni picks up Slugger. These guys are going to end up taking this uh, A spot, unless they decide to push it. It doesn't look like it because they have that five death lead. Ooh, Flora also gets picked off. And this is what you're going to see. The mistakes are going to be if people are caught alone. Magni getting picked up there. Joe gets picked up there as well. Those, those players were away from everybody trying to get the rotation in. That immediately makes it a four death difference. Now it's a three as more kills come in. Skiffy picks up Jabba off of that kill on Magni though, so things are going to start evening up. But they do have four deaths to give away. They get the A site and they're going to start going towards B. See if they can pick something up there. Shots are coming in, but he's going to get obliterated off of that head glitch. The stun's going to come in. That's not going to pick up anybody. They're going to start pushing, but you're going to see Joke here on the outside. Can he get back in before anything happens? He does, but he shoots a dead body and then gets picked off as, on his own. You do have Flora in the back of this map. I don't know if he's AFK or if he's just not doing anything. Nope, he might have just been switching classes. Yes, he was. Uh, the red team, though, only got a two-death lead now after that trade. But here, you're going to see Joke in the back. Can he make this a difference? We saw the flanks coming big here, but he's going to get called out. And that is why you have someone watch your flank at all times. Flora picks him off. He's going to get the heal. Slugger's going to pick off a couple. He's in that corner. Kellogg is still 10-4, and four, and he's in this vent, and they don't see him. He's going to pick up one there. Can he get away? He does. He gets the heal, and he gets away. 16-15. to 15. They're coming in. There's still a minute left in this round. Here's a big flank by Phantom. He's going to pick up one. Jabba is super weak, and the red team is going to flood in through it in here. But look at this. Kellogg is here. He's going to use his streaks. He's in the vents. I don't think anybody's going to be taking into account for him, but he's going to have to move because the entire team's coming in. They have a three depth difference. Is he going to make a pick here, or is he going to make, is he going to try to do something? He's going to hop up. He's going to try to make a play. He gets picked there, goes to the other one, but Tor's going to pick him up instead. Skiffy though is going to pick up two in the point, and he's going to try to maintain this. He tries to shoot long, but that doesn't work. And ladies and gentlemen, it's eight to nine, and the sniper's coming out for Phoenix. There's the nade. Nade doesn't pick up anybody, but the sniper could be devastating if he gets the shots off. War Machine's coming in. Sniper shot comes in. Four to eight. The blue team's running out of lives. Phantom picks up one in the back. They're still firing the War Machine. Here comes number two. That's going to be Slugger on this flank again. He's going to get a kill there. Can he pick up more than one? He picks up another one. He picks up three on the flank. A huge kill, but no, he's going to get shot in the back there. Can he stay alive? He doesn't maintain to stay alive, and that's going to be only one left. That's going to be up to Tor. Can he continue this on? No, he's going to get meleeed. And off of the incredible flank. Unfortunately, it's not enough with the death deficit. And that's what we were talking about, too. You can only have so many deaths, and eventually it becomes an issue. And on a play like that, if it was a little bit closer, you could definitely tell, see that, that working in their favor. But unfortunately... What's up, Bev? What's up? How's the game going? Uh, pretty intense. Is it close? Uh, well, the series is 2-0, but right now it's 1-1, and Kellogg used a drone squad, but it didn't really do much because the red team still won the round, so. That's tough. Yeah. You hate to see that. Actually, he used his other streak, too. Yeah, he used his Hellstorm, so he used them both for the round loss. That's tough. So, Who's best on team one? The one with Jabba. Uh, Jabba is right now. Kellogg is fourteen and six. Slugger is fourteen and ten. Tor is ten and seven. They're actually all pretty even. The slang on the red team is is kind of lacking, but they're managing to stay in position enough to at least. That's good. I bet Phantom's it. top of the leaderboard. Uh, yes, Phantom is best KD, but uh, Skiffy has the most kills. Okay. Uh, right.
right now, though, it is 24-22, blue team for uh, death difference. Nothing has is been it captured a hard point, yet. Or is it a... Control. Game 3 control. They're playing a series. 5 or 3? Uh, five. I, th I think There's 5. Two. So. 22-20, oh, 21-20. So right now, blue team is going to have... They're only going to get that first point on B. Who's blue team? Uh, blue team is Flora, Slugger, Tor, Jabba, okay. and Kellogg. But... Who's top of that team again? Uh, that team... Uh, technically the top would be Kellogg. He's 19 and 8 right now. He had all the streaks. Damn, yeah, what guy? Do wasted him? Yeah, he's. Oh, and he used the lightning strike this round too, so he's he doesn't have any streaks right now. Uh, seventeen fourteen. Blue team's got the death difference, but still haven't captured any points. They're almost about to cap B though. There's twenty seconds left in this round. <laughs> Looks like they're starting to cap A too. Oh, they completely <laughs> cap B. 17 to 10, 17 to 9, blue team is just slaying out at this point. Yikes. 16 to 8, it's almost a full double difference. They're capping A, they got two points left. Almost there, the kills are just coming in. Slugger with a double. He's 19 and 11. Flora picks up one. Slugger gets another one. Flora's using, <laughs> Flora's using the swordfish, gets a double. <laughs> and that's going to be 2-1 uh, to the blue team. For the possible hot 3-0. Hey, streaming. Yeah. Yeah, I've pretty much been anytime that I don't play, I basically just stream and cast the games. Link your stream chat. Wanna watch? Uh, I believe I posted it in the tens chat. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Alrighty. So two one. Red team definitely needs to clutch up. Slugger's 20 and 12. Kellogg's still 22 and 9, so he's doing fairly well. Watching. Red team is going to be up on this point here. They're going to get the guy. No, Chavis managing to survive in vents. And they're immediately. They already have one half of A. There's point two of A, and not too many kills have gone down. Only four kills pretty much in the entire lobby. Tries to make a play. I wonder if Jabba was trying to use his grab slam there. And their red team immediately takes A. Oh, when is the game gonna end? That's about to Yeah, right now it's game three, best of five. Uh, blue team has the lead, but right now the red team already has point A. They're working their way over to point B. Red team has a five to lead, and Phoenix is a sniper. Picks off one, can't get the second. Magni is gonna get a kill on Jabba. Joke takes out Slugger. Here comes a lightning strike from Flora. That's going to take out one. That takes out Skiffy, but Red Team still has a three death lead. They don't have any points on B, though, so this is basically just going to be a slug fest for this B site. They got three people coming through mid. Tor now breaks out the sniper rifle and just peels joke. Phoenix has a sniper now, too. He's still holding that. Picks off Tor. Phoenix nasty with the sniper. Slugger is calling in his lightning strike now. That's going to pick off Phoenix. And picks off Skiffy. The streaks are all coming out, but Red Team still has a two-death lead. But they have to push forward. And Skiffy. Oh, we missed the sniper shot there. Slugger gets a double kill. Kellogg picks off Joke as well. And that makes the kill count tied. But Skiffy picks off someone in the vents. Is there a sniper's nest? Maybe. Oh no, strike team. Thanks so for the subscription train with that. Someone called in a strike team, so that is tough. Flora picks off somebody in the back. Phantom back here is on the flank, though. He's gonna pick off one. Can he stay alive, though? Oh, someone someone used their uh, vision pulse, too. It's a 9 9 kill tie. Phantom's still back here causing troubles for people. The drone squad, though, is yeah. gonna pick off two for Flora. And right now it's 6 to 7. The kills are coming in. Oh, Phantom! Phantom's disgusting. Jabba had him. Phantom's still getting kills in the back, but a team kill by Phoenix with a grenade. 
Skiffy picks off Flora though, and that's gonna make it six to three. Three players left, two players left. Skiffy picks off one. Slugger is alive in the back. He's gonna be the last one alive. He's gonna get picked off though, and no, Jabba's still alive actually. So it's Jabba versus five. Red team is capping B though. He tries to pick and he can't do it. Gets picked off in lobby, and it's gonna make it two two. One round left for this game three. So more streaks invested by the blue team and they lose the round again. That's two rounds in a row they invest streaks and they lose that round. Oh, 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 thank you for the videos. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. That's all. all right. So, so far there are no more streaks across the board. <laughs> Jabba's got grab slam. Phantom's close to his Phoenix. Oh, he, he makes a late, late push here. Oh, and Flora, Flora makes a late push off of being AFK and destroys somebody. The kills <laughs> are being traded in A. So right now, uh, a, the blue team is on offense in this last round, and Flora is destroying people with that swordfish. Jabba also picks up Joke, and right now it's 27-25. So far, it looks like the attacking team has had the most kill, lack of kills. That's going to be the difference. Oh, you have Phantom here in the corner, though. Picks up one. Blue team pops their crash, so then the extra health is going to help them as they're capturing A at this point. Oh, they're capturing both at the same time. Someone's going to pick up Tor off of B, and they can't do it. Floor is also here, but they're still capping B. No one's putting on pressure. Tor is defending this all by himself. Oh, they finally full push... The B site. Someone popped their Tempest. Who was that? Is that Flora? No. Oh, Slugger had his Tempest, but he ended up dropping it. Right now, A site still hasn't been dropped yet, though. Phoenix is over there. He's going to try to contest us. He's got a sniper out, but it's not going to matter. But you're going to see here off in lobby. Who is that? Oh, never mind. He gets sniped by Phoenix, so it doesn't matter. It was Kellogg. Jabba's going to push up here, though. It's going to be a full team push, but the War Machine comes out from Skiffy. A snipe from Phoenix also gets the kill. All oh, the trophy stops the War Machine, though. That was a brilliant play. Phoenix still has that sniper. Can't get the pick on Slugger. Slugger's going to start to push up. He's here all alone. You're going to see a flank here. That's Joke. He's flanking through the... Oh, do they see him in the vents? No, but he gets spotted by it. Oh, but Flora doesn't see him. Oh, but he gets meleeed while he's trying to kill Kellogg and gets turned on. Kellogg gets a two-piece, picks off Phoenix. Here comes a lightning strike from Phantom, though. Yep, here it comes in. He's actually using it. He's going to pick off Kellogg with it, but Phantom team kills... Actually, no, he team killed Magni. Skiffy picked off. The other guy, Flora, is going to pick up one. Slugger gets Joke on the other side. And right now, it is 12 to 5. The blue team is slaying out. There's only four left. Skibby is going to pick up one in lobby, but they're going to full push B. They're all on B and they have to push this. One's going to go down. Jabba picks up Phantom. Joke's going to go down from floor. Floor picks up another one in Phoenix. Almost team kills somebody. You got a flank coming in from the vents, but it isn't going to matter. Skiffy drops and he is going to fall. The hot 3 0 eventually comes in with three very, very close maps. Blue team takes it. Are you trying to be, like, are you trying to be a pastor? I mean, I, I've always just enjoyed casting in general. I love you, RKO. Sick at it. I love you too. Alright, we're done. Yeah, because we, ha we had a bunch of, we, we had extras come in anyway, so with the extras coming in, they didn't get the chance to play in the last game, and they had, they had odd numbers, so I was like, one, you guys can go ahead and join since I played the last two matches, so you guys can get playtime. So I backed out, and then okay. I just I just cast anyway. I'm gonna join I'm lobby. Gonna... Can I be a team captain? All right, GGs to everybody. GGs. Yep, GGs boys. The three zero, but very very close three zero. Hey Joe, hey Joe, good. Yeah, what's up? Yo, how did you feel about frequency on that map? <laughs> on that. All right, so we're going to hop back here one more time just to end this. 
we're not too sure on how the teams are going to get picked, but there's a lot of people here. We may end up casting another one, uh, or we may end up playing. We don't know. Uh, but a good close uh, three sets of maps. Uh, definitely, definitely a... Um, A very competitive set and you can definitely learn a few from these things um but we're gonna go ahead and hop back into the lobby i mean we have this yo rko you're you're hired you're you're a caster now my mic Sweet. Jazz, so i'm about to join back you get like five cents a year <laughs> down a if i save up I enough them. i can order my taco bell i will pay call you one dollar a month for casting pens in my discord Every night, if you don't cast anybody else's, you're exclusive to ours. <laughs> exclusive. Yo, I I even tweeted out that it was your tens too. So like, if I, I if I post any vid if I God post any it, if I post any YouTube videos, it's it's strictly gonna say, uh, I'm in tens. So Slugger and Skiffy are captains. Uh. Slugger and who? Skiffy or Sci-Fi? How do you say it? I was pronouncing it Skiffy what? because someone uh the someone else said it that way, but I have no idea. I He's also not oh. in here right now, so there's that. Too. I don't think they can join. I think there's too many people. Why are they host? Because they were. Why are they picking? Because they were top. Why ho? No, they're captain, not host. I mean, why are they captains? Like because they were top. That's what me and that's what we all agreed on before we even started the last game. Yeah, but we are we're also playing two series. Well, yeah. I don't care. Whatever. I don't care who's okay. the captain. Just make guys, okay. Just go. Slugger and Slugger and Skippy and Skippy are the captains, and for the and for the first picking or the first two, whoever's left after. Then pick whoever yeah. captains are. Yeah, we'll okay. go to we'll see we'll see who's left and then pick captains off of that. But for the for the main tens, it's Skippy and Slugger for captains right now. So All right right right, right, right now team four. everybody right. in team four needs to move up. Like it's a there's no cap on the VC. I'm moving them up. So right now, with the numbers, if I count this right, one, two, three, we have eighteen. Four, five, RKO, what's up, you, RKO? Yeah, you're not in the solo player one. Oh, yeah, solo player one. Those solo player one. What is happening? I have no idea. Why are so many people leaving? Hey, Ali, what's up? Or is that like Jake? You better be careful. <coughs> yeah, I didn't want. Slugger, what's up? <laughs> Slugger and sci-fi. You can go first, sci-fi. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> hey, Jack. Like, hey, fuck? Jack. Are you playing in this one? Whoa! Oh. Sci-fi, you're a captain. Whoa! I didn't see that. For this. See that? That's that's the yeah, other reason why I set out too, because Jack Jack isn't playing. So if he's not playing, that makes it odd. So we that's why I was two. casting too. So then it makes it even again. All right, yeah, boy. Play. We're the top two. Skip it. It was, it, was it was me and Skippy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just pick. Wait, all these people is playing now? Yeah. Everybody 